We push on here into the new year in real life and into the new season here in this franchise mode. Kind of a uh, um, a parallel journey here, so to speak. However, due to the holiday and uh, you know this series kind of reaching its end, we will be probably starting a new one relatively soon as the interest for this one has uh, kind of fallen off a cliff, uh, it seems like. I will keep going at least... I don't know, a year, maybe two more. If we win another cup, I might consider ending it. We'll see what happens here, just because I want you members to get, you know, at least a, a fair dose of, of seeing your guys develop, seeing your guys play, and stuff like that. And then my plan is, is to not take a huge break while I figure out the rosters again. I'm going to try to figure out something to do in between member franchise series. If you guys, any, and it's going to have to be NHL, I'm going to continue doing and putting out other content as I continue to want to branch out the channel. And for those of you who do watch that or check that out or leave some uh, impressions on it and stuff like that, I really, really appreciate it. It does help me in my journey to be a more uh, broad uh, and more versatile content creator. So thank you guys very much for all of your support, both here, there, and everywhere. So before we get any further here and actually do some hockey stuff, we got some winners to read off from last year's point scoring contest. The first one here is Dylan Dobson, who guessed for the team lead Merkley. Uh, you missed it for the league. You, you went for McDavid. Yeah, and he didn't get it when you guessed him. He'll get it next year when you uh, guess someone else. So uh, just prepare yourself. And uh, Thatcher Demko for the gold center, who did tie with, I believe, Hella Suck. So uh, there we are. Congrats to you, Dylan. Next up, we have fucking Stallion Duck, who I think is probably in the lead here for this franchise mode of just being put on screen the sheer amount of times he has been. Uh, team lead Eklund and the league lead Merkley going for Vasilevsky, but as as it is a lot of times with McDavid, too, he always seems to win it when uh, people don't guess a whole lot of him. But uh, anyway, congrats to you there. And uh, last but not least is... Ice Warrior 101, uh, I should say, the Habs' uh, finest Ice Warrior 101, uh, team lead Eklund and league lead Merkley, so, and uh, going for Sorokin, which wasn't a bad guess, I don't know if we've ever seen him up top, but he's probably, he turns out to be a solid goal, you never know, <laughs> for me, I either go for like, or if I was like to guess, I would, I would always be like, hmm, I think I would go for like the some star goaltenders who always do good but like not necessarily the higher overall goaltenders i i know that sounds weird but like often Tuukka rask or or, or merkley or gibson they don't actually like you know get the best stats most of the time and oftentimes you see those mid 80s goaltenders getting it you know blackwood or um like ranta that we've seen in the past and, and stuff even yeah anyway i'm rambling here a bit so free agency um shoot did i even have anything to do? no okay i was like uh oh i didn't check anything before i might have to have an edit already here while i do stuff that i didn't do but no 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 we're good i, I yeah okay I, I did the coaching thing and it worked that's right <laughs> oh. um no i don't have to turn on goalie rotations i'm pretty sure i still had those on let's just i need to take a quick Look at the roster. It's been a year since I played this franchise, or I haven't played this franchise mode since last year. Yeah, that that was supposed to be funnier, but yeah, messed up the wording. <laughs> so, uh, Eklund. So three. Let's go by overalls. Oof, Mackenzie. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Wait, he changed to a medium elite. He wasn't always medium elite, was he? Definitely not being drafted at 29. Okay, so that's good. Can you actually, you know, just get up a little more? I would love for you to be great. Uh, where's Paul at, man? Do I, okay, he's... Wait. No, seriously. Did I pass him? I hope I passed him. What? There he is. 80. Ah, shit. <laughs> he was like at 83. I signed him to a deal and yeah. Please, please jump back up. I might st stick him on like a third line somewhere regardless. Because, yeah. It could be like, oh, then we won't have a friggin' center on that third line. Because neither Gaucher... Well, actually, Gaucher has got 71 face-offs now. It's, it's at least 70. So maybe that'll be my third line. I'm just I'm just seeing if I need a higher... Um, 
sign someone, but we got five here. Mackenzie was on that second, but may, yeah, I'm not, I get, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to go with Paul. Who the hell is Vitaly's a grinder? I'll probably stick him somewhere on the fourth line. Marita is a two way. I'll stick him somewhere on the fourth line. Paul Gadjevich. Okay, and then Paul and Gadjevich will have to duke it out. Probably go with Paul. Merkley would still be our depth guy. Okay, so we're fine for forwards. Defensively, we're pretty fine. That yeah, we should. Be, yep, we're we're good. Okay, actually, I don't need anyone by the looks of it. Beautiful. We don't need to sign anyone for money either. Yeah, we're good. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so. Was I offering any contracts? Did I want to offer any contracts? I am offering... Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, oh, yeah, I pretty much hit everyone already. Look at me. Oh, look at me go. Okay, so, uh... I guess we'll just advance up a couple days, because I really don't need to do anything. I can't remember... When's the last time I was even making the huge wages in the free agency? It's kind of crazy. I might have to... I don't know. I feel like... I think it was like back before they made the draft changes, when you could find steals. Then I became good at finding steals, and that way you could get guys out who were good outside of like the first and second rounds. Which is... is That's what you want out of a hockey game, but it's just kind of funny. Like, I used to, you used to have to use like free agency back in like NHL 17. Anyway, we got Ling, Ivani, uh, Pelik, Merkley, and I think that was it. Yes, indeed. Everyone has signed. We get to look at that all year, which is fantastic. But um, that's all we have to do here, so we're just going to get up there to season and uh, start simming. So I'll see you guys when I got the lines and stuff taken care of. All right, so here we are with the lineups. For this coming season now. Missing Couture does suck. We don't have a chemistry on that third line now. Because Paul and Ling don't have X-Factors. Gauthier is the only one with X-Factors. Even though the chemistry... Well, Paul has good chemistry on the third line. Better for the first, but he ain't going there. Uh, Gauthier is not great. Like, Ling's not great. So, yeah. No chemistry for there. But that... Hopefully we will be okay. Oh, Vitaly can't take face-offs. What am I doing? Yeah. Get Paul in there. There we go. We'll do that. Okay, um, fourth line is going to be Marita, Paul, and Vitaly. So some new guys in there. Marita's a two-way guy, really nice defense. Obviously, we know about Nick Paul and Vitaly. Um, you know, it just kind of felt like we needed a slight change. The uh, the fourth line last season, they did have some nice goals in the playoffs, but I didn't like their overall plus-minus at the end of the year and stuff like that. Oh, never mind. What, uh, maybe in the play. What, what? Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't have the other two. Well, I do have one here. Gadjevich. Yeah, maybe it was in the playoffs. They scored some goals, but they got they got scored. I don't know who goes. We, we won the cup. Who the fuck cares? Anyway, we got young young guys to add in there. <laughs> yeah, Grinder here. And Marito, who's a nice little two-way. He actually has X-Factors, too. So I'm, like, kind of wanting him and Ling on that third line together in some capacity. Which one of them could take face-offs? Hey, maybe... Like that, and they would get chemistry like that. So it's I'm almost like I do want to try out Maximilian, but he doesn't have X factors. His awareness is through the freaking roof. But I'll try him out, see if he could produce. If he doesn't, I could probably trade him because I got into an incredible contract. I'll be giving a team a freaking a dynamo offensive player who will probably get stat growth. And yeah, so yeah, we shall see. I might give him the freaking Arizona. <laughs> Just I feel so bad for him. Yo, you guys did need a playmaker, huh? Hmm, I'm really tempted to do that right now. But we're going to see how he does. Uh, defensively, Pelic, Merkley, obviously, Ferraro, Kenyazev. Going to go with Blum and Clifton. We're going to sit Ivani. And I, now here's the thing. Clifton should be depth. He's now listed as depth. He's got seventh potential. But Ivani in there with uh, with Blum is a negative one. And I don't want to do that to a developing player. That's that's usually bad to do to a developing player. So Ivani is going to have to sit for at least part of this year. He's kind of done anyway. Growing, or at least where I want him to be. Um, 
yeah, we got him to a reasonable extension for a top six guy. He's gonna, he should be my long term guy in there. It's just he's not right now. Not. I, I gotta, we gotta try to train up Blum quickly for to be a replacement for Pelic, and I, hopefully he can slot in there immediately. Uh, come next season. Now, he does have X-Factors. He still doesn't give a plus with Merkley. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Merkley still does Merkley things. So, really, we just need Blum. Grow up to his mid-80s. And I'll, I'll throw him on the top two. 100%. If he can get to his mid-80s by the start of next year. That would be terrific. Or, wait. I have Pelic for another year after this, don't I? Or Yeah, because I... Okay, I didn't have to. I mean, I could always trade him, I guess, if he. Yo, yeah, I got, I got, yeah, I got the extension just like, yeah, just to make sure it'd be cool. Right, he might decline, and then we could throw him on that. If we could always switch him, doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, um, those are only part of the lines. Power play, Max and Gustavs with uh, Eklund, uh, Merkley and McKenzie on the points, trying to still make this guy good. Tabernacolo, Ramirez, Ling, uh, with Pole and Gaucher on the second unit. Four-man power plays as follows. I didn't even really touch that. I'm just like, whatever, dude. It's four-man power play. Um, Eklin and Tabernacolo. Yeah, we're definitely going with that combo again. Merkley and Pelik, and then Paul and Marita with Ferraro, Kanyazev, all zeros and three-man. This is the best I could get it because um, I wanted Eklin. I know I could go with someone else other than Tabernacolo. Let me see what... Paul's like simply because it's that's worse okay let's get Tabernacolo back in there uh Blum and Pelic to get a zero and then Kanyaza Ferraro and that's the best I could really do that's okay hopefully we have a good penalty to kill again we did have a good one last season uh Eklund Happy Boolin this is the four on four the same defensive pairings will be the same uh, Happy Bullen, Tavernacolo, and then Ramirez McKenzie. Three on three. Forward pairings are the same. Merkley, Kanyazev, Ferraro. In order, pretty much of offensive awareness, as you can see. There you go. Extra attacker, Eklund, and Merkley. You're damn right, dude. If he's on the ice already, they'll send out the next best guy. That's really what I want. But I want to guarantee in clutch situations that, you know, one of these two guys are on the ice no matter what. Shootout lineup is here. And there we go. Let's switch that. Hill and Benoit still. So Benoit's up to an 82. That just might. I mean, he can still. I, he can get to like an 83. And he could take over a starting role. And Hill uh, kind of starts declining. If he does. I don't know, man. But it's right now it's Hill. <laughs> and then you can see our depth right here. Ivani Gadjevich Merkley. So there we are. There we are. So Gadjevich is obviously going to be fourth line depth. Merkley everywhere else. Essentially. Okay, the board is set. Let's see how we defend our title. So let's get that first uh, little month and a half or so done past the preseason. It's a good start through preseason, but again, we don't care till that regular season begins. And this guy, really, I, I feel like we got a good coach, too. I mean, it, uh, obviously, it worked out last season. Nope. Gaucher's already injured. <laughs> so, Merkley gets to hop in there. There you go. Oh. Minus one, I don't care. It's only for a little bit. Yeah, good start. Gaucher's back as we're 3-0 and to start off the season. Yeah, none of them can take face-offs, man. Oh, that's even bet. That's horrible to do, though. Why is this? Oh, because Tabernacol is there. Yeah. All right. Keep going. Okay, first loss of the season. Let the autos go. Get to work. We're 3-1, and one, though. Uh, oof, jeez. Mario Ferraro's... Oh, and I should have told you, since Couture is no longer here, Eklund has been made captain. I had to do it. I I mean, Ferraro, I was always saying Ferraro's future captain. I had to... You have to give it to Eklund, dude. He's been way, way too good. At least Ivana can get some uh, time in here. So, Eklund is the captain. Ferraro and Merkley are alternates. That's Ryan Merkley, of course. So, back in Ferraro goes. 
Really good start to the season. Really good start to the season. 10, 1, and 0. Oh. Now we got all ones right now. Eno Kuperinen. Uh, oh, that was, that was just a minor injury. Yeah. I love how I'd like never had any chemistry in the uh, AHL. I think it has a lot to do with X Factors, eh? Damn, dude. We're really getting in the butt for injuries. Now Merkley's out. This is going to be horrible chemistry here, too, because he's another DFD. It's going to be a minus. <laughs> Hopefully that's fake. Hopefully it's not that bad. Um, I'll, Again, he's not out for a super long time. So it's not like we're really needing to win games here. So I'm just going to simplify my throwing Ivani in. That's usually what subbing all lines means, EA. Oh, we finally lost again. Uh, Tarnaski, Kuparin, and... Oh, right, what? Wait a sec. O'Reilly. As a 3C. That's an interesting prospect. Hold up. How good is he right now? Ha. Oh. 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 Holy fuck. Mm, I really might consider this. Oh man, I might consider this. Not for the stuff that they want. I don't need rust. Ternaski, some only goalie I just drafted. I don't care about that. I want the second. Don't necessarily want to give up Kuparina, but we have a lot of goaltend or uh, defensemen there. We can make this work somehow. Man, I'm gonna wait on that, but I'm keeping that in mind. I'm keeping in mind that they want to move Ryan O'Reilly. I'm 100% gonna keep. Yeah, they, they really. Oh man. They really want to... Okay, hold on. I'm just going to get the block out of here. But Habs and O'Reilly, man. Absolutely. And sorry, Ice Warrior. It looks like your team's doing horrible. But I might, I'll, I'll give you some, some help. <laughs> While taking O'Reilly off their hands. That's looking tasty, man. <laughs> they fired Brent Burns. I just... <laughs> Burns, he got fired. Ryan Merkley's back. Yeah, it was only a minus one. I knew it was lying. There's no way it could be like a minus three out of nowhere. Jesus, man. We are freaking dominant. 19-3-0 to start off the year. Like, I want to trade for O'Reilly, but holy crap. Oh, my goodness. Look at Tabernacolo. He's leading the way. Where's Eklund? We are 10 points ahead of the Oilers in this division. At only 22 games played. How is that even possible? Good God. What a start here for San Jose. What a start. 395232. We should come back down to earth, but holy crap. 21.2, 83.8, and we already have one shorty for. Uh, come on, Seattle and the Calgary's beating us. Come on, Eklund and Tabernacolo, get good. Speaking of getting good, Tabernacolo leading the way in points. There's McKenzie, you fucking prick. Finally. 27 points. Gustavs with 22. Eklund only has 21. Ramirez, 17. Ling, okay. Don't like that. Max, once again, is slow getting out of the gates. Marita, pole. But everyone's doing real good. Merkley's point per game. Missed some time. Look at Kinyazev, though, dude. 13 points, 22 games played. What the hell? Pelik, dude. The plus minus is right out of this world. Ivani jumping in there. It's very, very good. Seven games played. He was a plus six, man. Insane depth performance out of him. Uh, <laughs> like, Hill's good, but look at what Benoit's doing. This guy's the best backup on the fucking planet. Remember Skinner from the Oilers series? Dude, Benoit might actually just smash him in terms of being the best backup. Holy shit. Uh, 9 one 4 2 4, four from Hill with 14 wins, 2 shutouts, and Benoit's 5-0. and oh. And has allowed... Nine goals in his five games played. I, I don't know. I, I looked at that and did math instead of just looking here. Don't 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 mind me. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of math uh well in my head and on my little phone calculator lately. I'm getting a bunch of army lists ready for a, a new kind of Warhammer campaign variation I've been brewing up in my mind for me and my buddy to play. It's gonna be awesome. It's like uh it's kinda like an RPG where you like you use one hero, but I've developed a whole point system and a building system and garrisoning for like 
you're gonna like have your home a home base essentially so it's almost like a base builder combined with randomized missions randomized enemies randomized armies of those enemies it's it's gonna be awesome anyway i yeah you guys know what i'm talking about right now i just had i just had to say that because i've been i've been having a blast doing all that i'd love to do tabletop on the channel someday i just don't know how to fucking do it logistically <laughs> it's crazy uh, anyway what a start what a start the second line is doing some stuff which is great absolutely fantastic ah <sighs> Okay, let's uh, let's just keep going. Let's go up another month. Check out some progress reports. Maybe even the stats again if we're feeling uh, feeling funky. Let's go. Oh, of course we lose. Don't do it. Don't start losing a bunch here. All right. Well, let's. I could just skip scouting. I don't really give a shit. But maybe you guys do. Let's take a take a gander. I can't give a shit right now, man. We're doing too good. Sorry. Auto scout's gonna be sufficient. Auto scout's just gonna have to be sufficient. I don't know. We're we're so good. I have so many. I have a log jam of prospects. Fuck it. <laughs> Let's see what auto scout can do. So another injury right now. Ivani's gonna hop in this time for Knyazev. Ooh, we got shut out. I don't like that. Jump, hop. Oh, three losses in a row now. Wait. Oh no. For wait. Oh, okay. Minor injury for Ferraro. Knyazev's still out. Okay, that was confusing for a minute. Nice, nice, okay, there we go. Uh-oh. Rougher end of the month here, really rough end of the month here for us. Yeah, fell back down to earth, 26-9-1. and one. Still on top of the division, but only a seven-point lead now. But it was bound to happen. Dabernacolo still leading in points, 23 goals as well. I'll check out, I'm not going to go in-depth. Well, I actually will, I'll do a quick check just to see. Oh, yeah, see, we, we fell down and went, yeah. That was bound to happen, though. Power play actually still really good. Penalty kill. We do have extra. We're not. What the fuck, Seattle? Six shorties already. God damn it. Come on, guys. Step it up. We got to be the shorty kings. All right. Tabernacolo, 42. McKenzie. Acklin. Okay, he's at point per game. Gustav Ramirez. There's Max. He's catching up. Um, Ling, Marita, Pohl. Yeah, look at, look at the minuses on that third line. That's what I'm concerned about. That is what I'm concerned about. And that's why I'm thinking of getting my hands on... Uh, yeah. Here's the thing. I wanted to send Paul to Arizona to help out them because they need a playmaker desperately. But I could also trade Paul for O'Reilly. I could probably trade other stuff for O'Reilly. Merkley, come on, man. Step it up. Oof. Benoit's last couple games were off. Oh, I, I spoke. I shouldn't have spoke so soon. I, I flustered him and he... Yeesh. Unfortunate. <laughs> All right, let's check out some progress reports. Then I might actually consider a trade right here. Oh, I don't even know. Uh, Theo Saad, 74-19. Decent growth so far. Uh, it's the goaltender. Okay, if these guys are on top, we're probably not going to have a ton of growth yet. <laughs> no, no, great. Okay, really not a whole lot right here. Missing from Reeves. Nis uh, Niskala, Blaine... Lorikine and Campbell. You're like right there, dude. Come on. What are you? I can't remember what he is. Looking at his playmaker, maybe? Looks like it. Oh, wait. No, those aren't even going to be his X. Those could not be his X factors, yeah. Because the game's stupid. How do I always get fooled by that? God damn. Well, it's because you don't expect it. Everywhere else, X factors are true to what they are. But in the progress reports, they're all fucked up. So, hey, yo. Um, I'm, I'm really considering making a trade right now. I really, really am. We fell back down to earth. It's not like we're continuing to dominate. I hope the Habs didn't trade him. I hope the Habs didn't trade. They didn't. Oh man, he's like, yeah, hell yeah, dude. I don't even have to get. I don't even have to get him to retain or nothing. Okay, so O'Reilly, I could get you for dirt cheap. One of these goaltenders, sixty-three at twenty. When were you drafted? Oh, just now. Interesting. Oh, yeah, I have a high elite. <laughs> Forgot about him. All right. Uh, Kapanen won't be enough. No, definitely not. He still has really, really good uh, numbers here. 
It'd have to be Kappen and Antarnaski, which I would... Well, it'd be, they'd be like, yeah, same player. All right, well, let's throw in uh, no Kapanen. That actually might go through just because of the blocks. Let me see. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I can't help it. I'm sorry, Ice Warrior. Didn't send you any real help right there. I can't help it. You got to give me stuff. I'm only going to use them for a 3C. All right, now, since we did acquire a 3C... Someone's got to go. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be pole here. They got Kylo Yamamoto, and he's now on the block. Please tell me you want pole, dude. Like, you should. Thank you. Okay. So, they want Maximilian. He's on a terrific deal, okay? They didn't trade. No, they still got Jabroni, who's injured. They still got Uncle Skoden. This will help them out a lot. Give me your pick, though. That's not going to... That ain't happening. <laughs> I want their pick, though. J just just so they don't have it. Nah, fuck it. I'll, I'll let them have it. Let them keep it. What do I want? I don't even want anything. Give me your seconds. Give me, like, all the seconds on the planet. Three seconds. That's... Yeah, I don't know if it'll work, but I'm, I'm asking for it. Yeah, three seconds. That's fine. Take him. He's probably gonna turn out to be a goddamn all-star for him, but I feel so, so sorry for Jabroni. He's a goddamn franchise. He's been completely screwed. Okay. That didn't give us chemistry? Are you fucking kidding me? Ah, uh, he's unlike the third line of that much. But we got two guys there with X-Factors. Come on. Alright, whatever. Um, yeah, he's going on the power play, 100%. Probably want him taking face-offs as well. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, Ling's gonna move back to the point. Sorry, buddy. But we need Ramirez up front. Absolutely. Okay. So, there we go. Oh, I should probably, yeah, I should probably be killing penalties too, man. So, yeah, you're going in here for Paul. Just straight up, and probably for Tabernacolo here. Just because it's a three-man. That's apparently a minus two. Okay, anyway, he's in there. There we go. All right, so it's been a while since we've made a mid-season trade, because we felt like we haven't, but that, in, in my opinion, that was just way too good. Paul, while really, really saw it on the offensive side of things, he doesn't bring anything that I need. He, like... To be great, he'd have to be a first liner. He ain't being a first liner. Doesn't have X factors. He's pretty much getting relegated to third line, which his contract was good for, but it wasn't really what we needed. So now we got two two-way forwards and a power forward on our third line. One of them being Ryan fucking O'Reilly. So yeah. And hopefully the extra ice time keeps him happy. We shall see. Okay. Trades have been made, baby. All the way up. To the deadline we go. Let's go. Come on now, don't... Oh my... If we shit the bed after make, I swear to God. You cannot tell me this team is not exceptionally better. Dude, a major concussion for Pelic now. We are... Out of, uh... Defensemen. Of course we are. Come on, guys. Thank you. They had me worried. God damn, man. We're getting nailed by injuries right here. At least it's a friggin' defenseman. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, can you just have scratched? <laughs> Poor guy. Went from being scratched in the NHL to being scratched in the H. How are we losing? And really, Gajevich got injured. So we have three guys out with fucking injury right now, EA. You're a joke. You're a goddamn joke. Come on, man. This is ridiculous. Merkley and Merkley are playing together. Don't care about scouting. Fix this goddamn team. Thank you. Gave me someone back. Ugh. We all know that ain't a minus two. Come on. Win some games here. There we go. Good defense in those games, too. That's what I want to see more of. Oh, Ga that's just Gadjevich. Where's Kniazev, man? Come on. There we go. I like that. There he is. Finally, man. He was out for a while. Whew. All right. Hopefully, we've suffered through all the injuries that we're going to suffer through this season. That would be nice to be done with that crap. Come on, guys. There we go. More wins. So, well, AHL is still getting injured. So, Vorbev, first line left wing. I love how this is, like, cut off. It's so ridiculous. Oh, yeah. I don't actually have depth forwards somehow. 
But whatever. Wait. Oop, okay, yeah, just throwing Khadijah in. Doesn't matter. Come on, guys. Let's go. Ugh. Ducks have fired their head coach. Oh, man. Come on, guys. We're better than some of these that we're losing here. Man, I guess I shouldn't complain. We're over 40 wins and sub-20 reg losses here. I, I think the beginning of the season gave me way too high expectations. It's just some of these losses are bad, and I don't like that. Well, Eklund just jumped up ahead in points. We still, I mean, we're still we're first in the NHL by a lot. I don't know. Yeah, I got unreal expectations. I think I need to temper them a little bit. I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. Our goals against has just been awful. Like going up. That's what I don't like. At least we still have great goals for power play. Still great. Penalty kills dropped too much. We're, at least we're scoring a shit ton shorthanded. So uh, yeah, I, I just don't like the goals against whatever. Get me to the playoffs and do good there. That's, that's really what counts, right? Whoa. How did, whoa, what? How did that happen? Tabernacolo was well above point per game and now he's what? Uh, second line just completely stopped scoring. Kind of bizarre. I don't know what to make of that, like, at all. Gaucher is, like, 100% not worth his contract now, which is unfortunate. But we can afford it, so I don't care. Interesting. That's very interesting right there. Like, a complete 180. Weird. Really, really weird. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what to make of that. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's not good. They went from doing really good to shit. Uh, okay. I mean, at least we're still doing good. We have... That's just weird, though, man. Isn't it? That's kind of nuts. I don't, that's, I don't know what to make of that. We're still doing really good. Huh. <sighs> Okay. I really don't know what to make of that. That's very, very bizarre. Bohinski's grown. Yeah, I don't have anyone really like... Okay, Sod's like the best grower so far, but... Actually, I think Tarnaski's grown a lot. Six overall, I think. Reeves. Nicholas Nicholas. I don't think he's ever making it to a big, big roll. Which sucks. At least we got a lot of guys growing. Not a ton, though. Okay, and we're not really missing anyone anymore besides Cody Mann. But everyone else is at least getting some growth for the most part. So that's good. Very interesting, though. Probably don't make a trade at the deadline no matter what. We already made a pretty major trade. Check out the... Let's see what the auto scout's been able to do. Hey, look, there's a franchise. Maybe you should have gone the... Uh, Coyotes pick just for a chance. Yeah, I'm not gonna probably not gonna have a whole lot looked at because I'm not target scouting. But hey, I mean Auto Scout's probably gonna get at least a couple of leads for us figured out. And I could I can flex my blind picking muscles again. I just I didn't care enough. I had other stuff to worry about. Either we were doing great or I wanted to see certain things working out. Eklund jumped back ahead in his rightful place at top, but that was just very weird to see how Tabernacolo fell off. I mean they were, to be fair, they were way outperforming expectations on that second line, but that's such a steep drop off and such a kind of short amount of time that that's a little bit concerning to me. It really is, but you know, as long as we make the playoffs and get going in there, it's it doesn't matter as much in my opinion. So yeah, that'll kind of wrap it up. This is probably one of the shortest free agency uh, videos that I've had in a while, but hey, yo, wasn't a whole lot to do. We kind of flew by. I wasn't wasn't actually doing any scouting on my own. Had other things, more important things on the mind. So uh, that will do it for this episode, guys. Hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.